So like I went on a PBD the PBD podcast recently, Patrick mm-hmm. Ben David, and I went in there. No, I mean they're like a sort of like a grind set show. Make I, money, I know how to just make it. Yeah, money, make money, hustle yeah. culture, that sort of hustle. stuff. And I I went in there, and as somebody who's who's on the left, you know, they're not really going to agree with me on it, but they're nice enough guys, and the, you know they're in favor of open dialogue and discussion of different ideas. And I was like, hey, this is this should be fun. And so I went in there knowing it was a little bit like the Lions Den. So mm. I was a little nervous, but I went in there, and the conversation went great. They're really nice guys. Uh, you know, we got a great reaction to it. And the feeling afterwards of relief was like, oh. That's interesting, because you went in there, like, ready to do battle. No, I di- so I, I, I didn't go in there thinking, like, there's going to be a fight. But you contentious, know. perhaps. I, I guess. I thought, you know, they're not going to agree with me on some stuff, and so I need to be able to explain myself in a yeah. way that can change their mind or at least give them pause and make them rethink it. And I think I largely succeeded on that front. A lot of people in their own audience said, you know, hey, I like what this guy had to say. No, so you, a you did a great job. I watched some clips from that. You did a great job. He's a great guy. He really is a great guy. He's, he's fair. He's he was fair. Genuine. Yeah, he was genuine. He yeah. wasn't trying to like, you know, because some people, if, if, if you have a debate and they're a different perspective, some people will go in with like, the, I'm going to own this person mindset. Right. And that's not him. He no. just genuinely wanted to know, like, how do you think about this? Tell me yeah. what you think about this. Even when he doesn't agree with you, he's fair. Correct. Yeah, yeah. That's he's, right. he's a very genuine person, and that's the appeal, and that's why he's doing so well. You know, we talked about that, the authenticity that, like, I talked about last night with Crystal, saying with you guys and with Sager and with Jimmy Dore, and even if you don't agree with people, with the, what they're saying, I know that's what you genuinely believe and feel, and it's based on thinking, it's based on your, your, your uh, research, it's based on your comprehension of whatever the subject you're talking about. This is your real opinion, and that's what people are missing in mainstream media, and that's why you guys are eating their lunch. That's why you're killing it. It's There's a real reason for it, because people have been deprived of that by executives, and networks that are orchestrating everything and giving people talking points and making people stay in these narrow parameters. Did you say there was a woman that was, uh, I forget who she was interviewing, but she was talking about something about climate change and she was asking a question and then she goes, okay, uh, all right, I'm getting in trouble now. Let me, because uh, she has an earpiece in. Oh, shit. And so someone's saying, get off the climate change, stop talking yeah, about. producer and, in the ear. And sure. so she has to course correct in the middle of the thing, which is virtually impossible. Yeah. And and also fucks up the flow that makes people resonate with what you're saying. Because I want to know that these if you and Patrick David, Patrick Bet David are disagreeing about a subject, I want to know that it's your thoughts right. and his thoughts. Like let me see which one I agree with. Let me see why Kyle feels the way he feels and why Patrick disagrees and let me see them work this out. And sometimes that takes 30 or 40 minutes. Yes. And if you're doing CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, like you got you got four minute hit in and out, man. Yes. Ask it's one question, crazy. give me one like cut and dry answer, and then let's move on here. And that's you're not nobody's learning anything. No. And also the people who are on screen, you don't know what they actually think about this thing. Because yes. if they they're on a network where maybe if they tell you the thing they really think, that's gonna, you know, buck the orthodoxy and then they're in trouble and then they're out. Exactly. You know? Because exactly. I think networks are are afraid of Backlash. So if somebody mm-hmm. says something, let's say that that's true, but also like goes against the grain, they might see some uh, a response from the audience. They'll be like, "Oh, our, look, I mean, we don't want any advertisers to flee. Mm-hmm. Let's cut this controversy off." And that's the honestly, that is the worst thing you could possibly do. The best way to handle it is, and I do this too. If I'm going to say something where ev- I feel like my own audience isn't even going to agree with me on this, yeah, you still you got to say it if you're telling the truth, and then just let the chips fall where they may. And one of the things I learned from you is. Just don't engage, uh, you know, with uh, Twitter and and the mentions and and YouTube comments because if you're if you're getting good criticism, that's one thing, and you can tell when a criticism is fair. But if you're getting criticism that you're like, this isn't even close to true, and now it's making me feel like shit. And then you're angry, and then yeah, you like, respond to that. Yeah, it's like, what's the point? I'm gonna waste three hours feeling negative emotions because yeah. some douchebag is is attacking me when they don't even know what I really think on the issue. Yeah. Then that's a totally different thing, you know. Or they've just seen a clip. Yes. Where you might have looked at both sides of it, but they're only seeing this one side that you're looking at, and they're like, oh, Kyle is turning his back on this and that, and like. Phew. And then you're like, no, I'm not. And then you're like, and then yeah. you get into Just it. Don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. Yeah, don't engage. It, it keeps you. It keeps your mind pure too. If you're like, it, you know, for for what I do, I got to read a lot of articles and watch a lot of videos and then react to it. And I have more of an untainted perspective if I go right to the source, read it, and then I react. Whereas if I see what other people are saying first, I don't want it to like 
sort of taint my own process going through the original material. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. 